Hey, what's going on guys? It's Kyle, and welcome to my LP of Super Mario Land 2, The Six Golden Coins. Let's go ahead and get started here. Alright, now, basically, like, just imagine, uh, everything that was great and wonderful about Super Mario Land 1, and what Nintendo did was throw all of that in this game and multiply it by, like, a million. Like, that's how awesome I think this game is, and amazing it is, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, basically, the way that I'm going to break up this episode a little bit, uh, is, like, do a world each episode. Um, you know, because this is uh, a bit of a longer game than the first one was. Kind of feel like breaking it up that way. Let's go ahead and dodge that. Alright. This is, like, the intro stage. Like, automatically, you can tell, like, this... The visuals in this one are definitely beefed up. Like, they're more of like a Super Mario World look, and I love that they went with that. Alright. Pop. Keep on going. And it's, the controls are a bit better, so I don't think there's gonna be any... There's not gonna be as many, like, cheap deaths in this one than there were in my Super Mario Land Let's Play. Almost said Super Mario World there. Dodge that. See, yeah, like, everything in this game just looks and feels better. And, funny story about this game, too. Um, this is actually one of the Game Boy games I played as a kid. And, um, like, the way I got this game was, uh, I was at my brother's dad's house or whatever. And somebody was there, I guess, like, one of his friends. And, uh, I was playing this other game for, uh for the Game Boy Color. It was like this Rainbow Six game. It was like a piece of crap. And my, my brother's friend like walked up to me and watched me play and was like, hey, I'll trade you this other game, you know, for that game. And I was like, sure, what you got? And he, he brought out Super Mario Land 2, with six golden coins, and I was like, uh, I like Mario. And so I was like, sure. I'll go ahead and, um, yeah, I'll go ahead and trade that stupid Rainbow Six game I didn't even like in order to get, like, one of the best games for the system. It was a pretty bad trade on his part, but it was, like, the best trade on, uh, on my front. It was great. I was like, wow, I didn't even know what I was getting myself into. Let's go ahead and get the bonus here. And that's that for my story of how I obtained this game when I was a kid. And for this level, let's go ahead and get something good. Or something that we already have. Woo! That was a lot of change. You can actually walk away from that too, which I find hilarious. Alright, uh, now, now the first world that we're gonna do is just this tree zone right here. So let's go ahead and get started on that. Everything in this game is like a million times better than the first one. And the first one's really good. Like, it's, it's also one of my favorite handheld Mario games. Kill them. Frogs. <laughs> they just like stick their tongue at you like, eh! Oops. And and then I show off, or at least I, I attempt to, and I lose my power. Look at that guy, he's, he's charging. Ooh, I didn't, I forgot that he was gonna do that. Let's go ahead and kill him. It's gonna cause problems for us later. Ooh, dodge that frog there. Get that fire flower, shoot him, move along, act like we didn't do anything wrong. Alright. There's gotta be something here. Alright. See, I don't know, like, whenever I see, like, I always gotta hit all these question mark boxes. Like, whenever I see them lined up like that, I'm just like, I gotta hit all of them. <laughs> it's like a force of habit. Jump on that. Is, is that like a bee? What is that? It's disturbing. Right. I believe that there's something over there. Alright. Ooh. Let's go ahead and jump back up there. I think this leads to the another bonus, I think. Or may, maybe I'm just wrong. I don't know. <laughs> that looks weird. Like he's skipping from uh, block to block. Up. 
kill them all. The frog. Get those coins. Now this game's great though. Like it's it's divided up into six zones, I believe. And, and you know the last one too. Shit. It's divided up into six zones, and you gotta go back and forth between each zone and collect the golden coin to gain access back to your castle, in which Wario has stolen your castle and basically locked you out of it, so you gotta get your castle back. And this is actually- ooh, nice, nice power-up. Fucking carrot. Yeah, this is the first game Wario makes an appearance in, I believe. I may be wrong about that, but... I'm pretty sure, but um, yeah, like, and it blew my mind because I already knew who Wario was when I was a kid because I played like Paper or not Paper Mario, but I played uh like Mario Party and stuff like that. But um, yeah, this is the actually I think believe is the first game that he appears in, which is very. Why did I get that? I had the best power up in the game and I traded it for a Fire Flower. I don't know what's wrong with me. But yeah, uh, that always came off to me as a shock, especially Wario's design. Like, he looked just creepier in this game. You'll see that later on. This is incredibly creepy. Alright. Moving along here. I don't know, is that goop or honey or something? I don't know what that is. Making our way. And there's those little Koopa Troopa things from the first game. Although we can... They would explode... If you jumped on them normally, they would just explode on you. But if you do like a little... Little twirl jump or whatever, they just die. So that's your best bet with dealing with uh, most enemies. Um... Ooh. See, so check that out. Yep. I think I'm actually gonna make my way down here, uh, just, just for shits and shits and giggles, shits and gingers. And I believe yes, that's the only way. That's the only reason I wanted to go down here. Oh fuck up! No no no! <laughs> Wow, I'm surprised at myself. I'm surprised at myself and my abilities. It's insane. Let's go up here. I believe this leads to the bonus. Alright. Hopefully we can get some lives this time, even though I don't think those would be too necessary in this let's play. Yes. Yeah, I like the I like this bonus, like these bonus levels a bit more than the first games, because there's, there's just more more variety in them, and they're just funner for me. All right. Caterpillar, I'm sorry. There's something over there, but I don't feel like going back. Take that bee out. I don't know what that is there. Is that like a... Ooh, it's like a death bee. Like a dry bee or something. It's pretty cool. Excuse me. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm just gonna go ahead and wait for them. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna do the right thing. I'm gonna be polite. Somebody... People, people can learn from this. Ooh. Yeah, don't don't jump on that guy right there. If I had a fire flower, I probably could kill him. Let's go ahead and go down here. Alright. Ooh. I think there's a I think there's a power up in one of these. I'm pretty sure on like each side. Sorry, this is kind of. Ooh, here we go. Oh. Oh well, I'm not going back and getting them. It's kind of painful to watch. There's not really much going on. <laughs> oh, whoops. I messed up. Well, I really squandered the moment, didn't I? At least I killed that guy. B 
boom. Got him. Ooh. What? Got him. Uh. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm just at a loss of words right now. I don't know what to say to this. What? I, I guess I can say, what the fuck? I get, everything is, like, disappearing around me. I don't know how that mushroom just disappeared. And then he reappeared. Oh no, this game's weird. <laughs> this game's just fucking weird, man. Alright. Jump over him. Yeah, this game's controls are, like, a lot better. Not that the first ones were, like, too bad, and I'm just... You know, pointing out an observation. There we go. The music's very, very catchy. Go ahead and get these. Jump on him. Fuck him. I think there's a hidden block here. Or maybe I just need to wait for that guy. Yeah, I think I do. Sir. Mm, almost. One more time. Ugh. Yeah, he, oh, there's a hidden block here. Oh. <laughs> there it is. That's kind of awkward. Alright. Yeah, I'm just gonna do it randomly. See what I get. I think I get the power up. It's pretty nice. Bunny rabbit ears. Yeah, I quite like that power up. I'm gonna do this soon, or this level just for the hell of it. Jump on those ants and beetle. Hercules beetle. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what that is. It's like a Hercules beetle. Or something to that effect. No deaths yet. That's good. Or at least uh, if there were, I haven't been paying attention very much. Grab that. Yeah, this game is a bit easier than... Um, than the previous game, but it's also more fun. Like, I guess I'm one of those people that are kind of just like, difficulty in a game is is good sometimes, but if a game's not difficult, that doesn't mean it's a bad game or there's no fun left to be had in it. Because that's just like, kind of bullshit in my opinion. Like, a game can be easy and extremely fun, you know, like, the game doesn't need to be difficult to pass on its own. Or at least that's just what I believe anyway. I mean, look at Pokemon. Pokemon's not difficult, but it's like one of the funnest series I've ever played in my life. Goal. Got that goal. Alright. After this, let's go ahead and take on that boss and end the episode off there. Get that. I wasn't even trying to go for that. And I actually got it. Three up. I don't know, we call it like... Three one ups? Would that be like 30 one ups? Like 30, 31 one ups? I don't know. I'm just being stupid. Don't pay me any mind. Alright. I'm gonna wait for him. See, I'm, I'm just I'm just really polite in this game. Like, I, I wait for people. I have. I wouldn't really call it hesitation, but I'm just. I'm just, uh, I'm just I'm an upstanding citizen in this game. Excuse me, Al. I didn't mean to hop in your head. <laughs> Let's see how long I can keep this up. This, this polite attitude. Hey, look at this. The boss from the first game. <laughs> you gonna shoot any birds out at me? Screw that guy. Well, apparently my polite attitude didn't last very long. Grab that. What? I don't know. Oh yeah, I can't do the, uh... Yeah, that's one limitation for this power-up, which kind of makes sense, because it'd be even more overpowered. You can't do, like, the little spinny thing uh, when you have this power-up. And I, I like how they did that, because they added some sort of limitation to this power-up, at least. Alright. Jump on him. I lo Oh, yeah, I think this might be bad. 
Right, this is our first bad situation, and I think that's the boss right through there. <laughs> well, and there we are. That was our first bad situation, everyone. Do we, do we, uh... Oh, yeah, we actually start off with that. That's great. I'm just gonna go through here. There we go. Excuse me, Paragoomba? Paragoomba? Did I, did I, did I call it a Paratroopa earlier? I don't, I don't think I did, but if I did, you can... Correct me in the comments below. Ooh. Man, that audio was pretty bad. Alright, here's the first boss. I don't know the official name, so... Fuck. <laughs> fuck. That's what we will call this boss. Yeah, this is really easy. Uh, you just... Do this one more time, and then... Whoops. We killed him on accident. Alright, there we are. Our first golden coin. Our first six golden coin. Now nah, it's just a golden coin. It's pretty sweet. I like how his castle says Mario Land too. It doesn't make any sense. Alright, and with that, I believe that I'm going to end off the episode here. So, uh, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching, and see you guys next time when we take on... Hey, wait for it. Spaceland! Spaceland! It's kind of like Disneyland, but space. I'll see you guys next time.